Thanks. It's day one of OpenAI's 12 days of shipments, promising new launches and demos every day for the next 12. And for the starters, the AI startup has announced two new features. Kate Rudy brings us that story for Tech Check. Clever idea here, Kate. Yeah, Merry Shipmas, Kelly. But we had two new updates as Shipmas, as OpenAI is calling it, kicks off today. So first we had a better version of one of its main models and then this $200 per month pro tier. First on that better version of its Model 01. During a live demo, Sam Altman saying that it's faster, he says it's smarter, should be a better experience for engineers and coders, says it showed major improvements in computation and on PhD level science questions, they say it's outperforming human experts by about 10 percentage points. According to Altman, on that demo, he said the boost might look small, but they but in complex workloads, they are significant. It has more what they call multimodal understanding and reasoning, meaning it can interpret more images and voice. And then this new tier of chat GPT called GPT Pro Mode. It's gonna cost two hundred dollars per month. This is really for power users who need more than that $20 of compute that they would get per month and would seemingly be willing to pay for that. It also shows a willingness to charge for these services, which is going to be key to this company breaking even. It is a very capital intensive business. It is not just OpenAI this week. The other frontier in AI that's emerging is image to 3D videos. AI pioneer Fei-Fei Li and her World Labs set the new bar with what looks like a video game. You can see that there. These are modifiable worlds in 3D, and then Google's Gemini rolled out something similar as well this week. We are waiting for OpenAI to launch a competitor that might come during shipment, so we might get more image and 3D renderings wow. there. It's supposed to be called Sora, Kelly. Show, we'll show that. That was beautiful. That, <laughs> that, that, what, it, what platform did she use to create that? So this is called World Lab. So they take an image, and then they create it into a 3D world. So theoretically, you could upload a picture of whatever that started as. I mean, wow. It kind of looks like a Dr. Seuss thing. But you, you start there, and then it creates this 3D world. So it's not for the everyday person. And same with the ChatGPT OpenAI updates. These are really deep tech. I mean, these are for creative folks who might be video game developers, but it's really pushing the limits of what these models are capable of. Amazing. And it's fun to look at. It's really, really I love interesting. It. Please. And the... shows kind of the future and raising the bar, really. All these yeah. companies need to kind of keep up with each other. Uh, it really is a glimpse into what's coming. Kate, thank you, as always, for bringing that to us, our Kate Thanks, Rooney. Kelly.